started it, it all started in 2007 um, as a Facebook group, um, just me on my own, um, because I, was, I wanted to see pictures of Sheffield, mainly the historical side of Sheffield, but how Sheffield used to be. So I, I formed the group to encourage other people to share their pictures. Um, and I put my own pictures on there as well, and then slowly it developed where people were sending us pictures of old Sheffield and then um, Sheffield as it is now as well. Um, and at first it went quite slow, but then after, after, after a while it started to get more and more and more members until the current day where we've got nearly 3,000 members and 12,000 images. Um, and because of the interest that, that generates it, when I met Jim, we, Jim Lambert, we decided that it'd be a good idea to put some public displays on. Um, and as you know, we've got a, a display at the moment in, near the market in the BNC Cult. We've had other displays as well. We've also got one at the um, Dog and Partridge public house in town. I mean, we, we try and get pictures of people of Sheffield as well from, from the past um, and, and old buildings and, and, and to show the, 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 how Sheffield's changed, the contrast between the past and now. And, and so even we like people to take pictures of, of buildings as they are now and put them against how they were in the past. Because one of the things about Facebook, people sit at home on Facebook doing nothing, talking to the computer, but the, the glory of this group has made it a real experience for people. So via Facebook, we've brought real people together and been able to get, put people together of the same interests and put on the public displays. And it's, it's a very proud feeling to be displaying our images in, in, in places such as this, prestigious places. Um, it's, it's, just, it's just a pleasure to be able to share our work with people. Um, and we've, we also, what we've been doing, we've been working with the Sheffield Alzheimer's Society, publicising them uh, and raising a bit of money for them. And we've had, we've had um, Paul Scriven, the leader of Sheffield City Council, is interested in what we do. That's why we were able to get the venue here. It's good to go around exploring our city and finding new things. And, getting pictures of buildings that are decaying and aren't going to be there much longer because the pictures that we take now will be of great relevance to young people and, and people in the future just as the pictures that we see now that the old pictures are amazing to us the pictures we take now will become those pictures in the future so that's my, my main motivation for doing it really